for me, older games are just so much fun. Whenever I get the chance, especially in times like now, I play older games. I recently went out and purchased a Game Boy Advance from a local GameStop, not GameStop, ew, from a local game shop. Uh, and with it, I bought, hold on, I need to get it out. I bought Super Mario Advanced, which is definitely a game of all time. Definitely a, a game, but I always try to play older games as much as I can, especially ones that I never really got the chance to play. And as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about Titanfall 2. You see, Titanfall is definitely a weird franchise, at least for me. I played the first game and I enjoyed the multiplayer of the first game a lot. I thought that the movement that it had was one of the better movement systems that we've had in multiplayer games, and Titanfall 2 was a multiplayer experience that I actually got to have when the game initially released. Obviously for the time it was coming out, advanced movement systems like in games like Call of Duty were kind of the hit thing to do. And I still think that Titanfall 2 has some of the best movement systems. However, we're not going to be talking about the multiplayer because I haven't played it in a long time and going back to play the game, I didn't really get a chance to experience it. And plus, it would mainly just be me talking about Apex Legends because Apex Legends is literally just Titanfall 2 but Battle Royale. Which doesn't make it good, by the way. <laughs> I'm not a... I've actually... I could probably do a video on Apex Legends because I got a lot to say about that game too. So when Titanfall 2 originally released I knew that there was going to be a single player experience this time around and I just kind of ignored it I was in my angsty young teenager phase where I didn't really care about single player experiences and I just wanted to play mindless multiplayer shooters all day however now that I'm an unk uh, I like single player games and so I went back to experience it for the first time and honestly it is really really criminal that we haven't gotten a Titanfall 3 is Titanfall 2's story something that we'd never seen before? No. But I think that there's enough there and enough substance to warrant more out of the characters that we're given. I, I think that Jack Cooper as a main character is great. And I think that his relationship with BT or BT7274 uh, is really cool. And it's, I mean, it's one of those man and machine kind of tropes and relationships. But I think that over the course of the story and even from the get-go, it's really fun. Essentially, you start off the game as just a rifle soldier who is entering battle. And I still think that this game has one of the hardest openings ever. Like the title sequence where the character is falling down to be the line between Titanfall and uh, the number two is just so cool. And landing on the battlefield and just kind of getting right into the gameplay was awesome. The tutorial section of the game was really quick and easy and it was actually kind of fun. They, they made it a lot more engaging than it should have been, in my opinion. And I think that it kind of set the groundwork for how fun this game was going to be. Eventually, in this first mission, you are not a pilot yet. You're not someone who has one of these huge mechs. And then something happens to the captain of kind of your entire troop or your entire militia. And you now have to take on the role as BT's pilot. It's funny because typically with these tropes, you would think that BT and Cooper don't really get along. And then over the course of the game, they start to enjoy each other's presence more, especially because BT had a very long lasting relationship with the captain uh, that he had before Cooper. And Cooper had always wanted to be a pilot, but had never gotten the chance to be one. You would expect this budding relationship to really play a major course and it for the most part, doesn't. It was actually refreshing from the start just to have a good connection between Cooper and BT. Like almost immediately, Cooper is cracking jokes. He's just like a wise guy type of protagonist. And BT is just one of those typical robot, doesn't really understand a lot of the jokes, but can be jokey at the same time. But the story for me was good. I mean, it's nothing, again, I hadn't seen before or anything like that, but I think that the characters and the villains were all really great. I think that for the 
first kind of story mode in this franchise, it was a really great starting point. And if Titanfall 2's story was in Titanfall 1, I genuinely think we would be three or four installments into this franchise by now. Now, if you have never played a Titanfall game, you're probably wondering why every time Apex Legends has some sort of announcement, people are kind of upset that it's not a Titanfall 3. Well, there's a few reasons for this. I think if you kind of look around, most people enjoy the story mode of 2, but one of the reasons the story mode is so fun is because of how easy it is to switch between being more of a rifle soldier and being inside of BT itself. I think that both control insanely well. I think that the snappiness well, when you're playing in the single player mode is just as good as when you're playing the multiplayer mode. And I think that what you get to do as Cooper is insanely fun and something that is really atoned to like a Call of Duty campaign, but this one is actually written pretty well. But again, being able to get into the Titan and do the things that BT can do, like with his missiles, and you can customize the different guns that you have in the Titan kind of on the fly once defeating other mini Titans before getting to a big boss battle, I think it's all great, and I think it's fun, and I think the boss battles in this game are fun. They're not super duper special by any means, but I think that they get the job done, and you do have to think on your toes. I was playing it on kind of the normal difficulty, the medium one, whatever you would like to call it, and I wanted to play the hard, so I did another save on the hard mode, and it was pretty fucking hard, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's just something unique about being able to pretty much completely customize BT and the Titan overall and being able to have your own unique style of gameplay as the pilot. I think that that's kind of a balance that is hard to do and I think that the story mode does it really well and from what I remember from the multiplayer it does it well. Again this game came out in 2016 it's almost 10 years old which is crazy to even think about but I think for the most part it's really fun still. I got this game on sale on Steam, so I was running it on my PC, and it still looks incredible. I think that I had it maxed out, I believe, or close to maxed out settings, and honestly, this is a game I could see running on current consoles really well. It is sad that the multiplayer story or the multiplayer uh, community kind of got screwed over here. I wish that EA didn't do that, but I mean, we all kind of wish things from EA, and they're just kind of dog shit. So <laughs> I think the level design is cool. I think that the overall lore and story of Titanfall 2 is really great if you just want to dive into it. If you want a short, sweet campaign, I think this is a good one for you. I think most people clock the campaign to around six hours, which for a generic multiplayer shooter is pretty typical. Most Call of Duty campaigns are in that realm of six to eight hours, I want to say. Some longer, some shorter. Uh, I know that some people are able to beat Titanfall 2 in like four and a half hours. I think I want to say I beat it in about five. And again, it, it was nothing special. I think it was really good. And for, again, the first kind of entry for this franchise for a story aspect, I wish they kept it going. But instead, we all know what happened there. If you've enjoyed Titanfall 2 at any point, let me know in the comment sections down below. I would love to hear your story with Titanfall 2. Or if you've never played it and you just want a really short, sweet experience, then go Go ahead and get it. I mean, it's pretty cheap. You can find it for less than $25. And hey, it's probably more fun than Concord is going to be. So I think online it says that it's about 16 or 18 hours to 100% complete. So if you're one of those people that tries to grind completions, this is a great game for you to do that. It's pretty fun to do too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for all of the support recently on the channel. It's been great to see. I've been getting a lot of comments from a lot of people. So I appreciate all of you for sticking around and watching. I'm going to go feed my my caffeine addiction so i'll see you guys in two days with another video just a warning a little bit of an angrier video because it's more of just me ranting about how stupid i am so you can look forward to that one